Today, we will talk about how to add phosphorus to soil. Let's have a look at the details. Are your plants looking a little lackluster, or not growing as quickly as they should be? If so, your soil could be lacking phosphorus. This important nutrient is essential to any crop you'll grow, and fortunately, there are ways you can add it to your soil using natural and organic products. In this video, we'll tell you exactly how to add phosphorus to your soil, as well as when to add it and how to know if your soil needs it. Natural Sources of Phosphorus Compost is a natural fertilizer that releases phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium over time. You can make your compost out of kitchen scraps at home, or you can buy pre-made compost for your garden. Animal manure provides phosphorus, nitrogen, and potassium to your soil. It's best to buy pre-made manure that's been tested. That way, you know exactly how much of each nutrient is in the manure before you use it. Bone meal is made from steamed animal bones, and it adds both phosphorus and calcium to your soil. To add bone meal to your soil, Measure out about 3 cups per 100 square feet of soil. Rock phosphate is a sedimentary rock that contains phosphate and almost nothing else. If you're sure that your soil only needs phosphate, buy a bag of ground rock phosphate and sprinkle a 1 to 2 inch thick layer over your soil. Use a rake or a shovel to mix it with the top layer of dirt. Green manure describes the process of planting crops that are high in phosphorus, then plowing them back into the soil. If you'd like to add phosphorus over a long period, plant crops like oat, faba bean, clover, buckwheat, or mustard, and harvest them like you normally would. At the end of the season, till the plant matter back into the soil. When to add phosphorus to soil? Add phosphorus to your soil one to two weeks before planting for best results. Mix phosphorus into the soil during the growing season to give your plants a boost. If you've already planted your crops and you've noticed them looking a little blah, you can add phosphorus to the soil around your plants. Why is phosphorus important? Phosphorus gives plants the energy to create new tissue. The main thing that plants use phosphorus for is protein synthesis. Without phosphorus, your plants won't have enough energy or nutrients to create new growth, which can slow or even stop the growing process entirely. How do I know if my plants need more phosphorus? Look for stunted plant growth. Plants low in phosphorus won't grow as quickly as they should. If you're halfway through the growing season and your plants aren't as large or tall as you'd expect them to be, there's a good chance that your soil is low in phosphorus. Check for a dark green color on your plants. Plants that aren't getting enough phosphorus usually have a dark green color on the stems or the leaves. This color will look abnormal and unlike what you're used to seeing on your plants. Use a soil test kit. The best way to tell what your soil is lacking is to use a soil test kit. The test kit will tell you the pH of the soil, as well as what nutrients are there and how much of them there are. Do a soil test kit before the growing season to see what your crops need. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.